Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm excited to show you a cool new component I've been working on, the mouse flow map component. This little tool adds a dynamic, interactive visual effect to your web projects and I think you're going to love it. So let's dive in and explore what makes it special. Alright, so what does this component do? The mouse flow map component uses your cursor movements to create fluid wavy distortions on any image you choose. It's great for adding an interactive eye-catching effect to your website. One of the key features of this component is its two visual modes, basic and enhanced. Let me break down the differences for you. In basic mode, the effect is a bit softer and more fluid, you will notice some parts of the image might look a bit see-through or have a watercolor-like feel. It creates a nice dynamic look that changes as you move your mouse around. On the other hand, enhanced mode makes everything look solid and sharp, no transparency here. Just a vivid, crisp effect that gives your image more impact. Now let's quickly talk about three settings that control the effect. Fall off, dissipation, and deformation size. Fall off controls how much the mouse movement spreads or blurs into the surrounding area. A higher fall off makes the effect spread wider, while a lower fall off keeps it more concentrated around the cursor. Dissipation determines how quickly the trails left by your cursor movements disappear. Set it low for long-lasting trails or high for quick fade-outs. And deformation size adjusts how strong the distortion effect is. A higher value makes the waves and wraps bigger, while a lower value keeps things subtle. And there you have it, a simple fun way to add some dynamic flair to your projects with the mouse flow map component. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more tutorials and drop a comment below if you have any questions or want to see more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.